we've seen many examples of relations and we looked at some examples of a specific kind of relation called equivalence relation. We now want to focus on another specific kind of relation called partial order relation. A partial order relation allows us to organize a set of objects according to some ordering. To illustrate, let A be this set, consisting of John, Bob, Mark, and Joanne. Define the shorter than relation S as follows. For persons X and Y in A, X, S, Y, just in case X equals Y or X is shorter than Y. Suppose the following diagram represents the ordering of the people in A according to height. So Mark is shorter than Bob and Joanne. Bob and Joanne are shorter than John, but Bob and Joanne have the same height. Okay, so we have Mark Mark is shorter than Bob so we have Mark s Bob Mark is shorter than Joanne So Mark S. Joanne. Bob is shorter than John. So we have Bob S. John. And Joanne is shorter than John. So Joanne S. John. Since Mark is shorter than Bob and Bob is shorter than John, Mark is shorter than John. So we also have that Mark S. John. We can see that S is transitive. Since each person in A is identical to his or herself, we have Mark S. Mark. and Bob S. Bob Joanne S. Joanne and John S. John That is, S is reflexive. Note that S is not symmetric, since Mark is shorter than Bob, but Bob is not shorter than Mark. Okay, so we have Mark S. Bob, 
but it's not the case that Bob S. Mark Okay, so S is not symmetric. There is no pair of distinct elements X and Y such that X S Y and Y S X. A relation which satisfies this property is said to be anti-symmetric. To put it in other words, you can't have two distinct elements each coming before the other. If one does come before the other, only one of them comes before the other. As you can see in the diagram, Mark comes before Joanne, but Joanne doesn't come before Mark. Only one of them can come before the other. The arrows point in only one direction. The shorter than relation S is an example of a partial order relation. A relation R is said to be a partial order relation just in case R is reflexive, anti-symmetric, and transitive. A partial order relation is often denoted by this symbol. We read this as X is less than or equal to Y. When two elements, X and Y, in a partially ordered set, A, are such that X is less than or equal to Y, or Y is less than or equal to X, we say that X and Y are comparable. In our example, Bob is shorter than John. So, Bob and John are comparable, since it's neither the case that Bob is less than or equal to Joanne, nor Joanne is less than or equal to Bob. Okay, here you can see that um, Bob and Joanne are on the same level. Okay, since neither of these are true, Bob and Joanne are not comparable. In our partial order relation, it's possible that there are elements that are not comparable. In such a case, we can't completely order the elements in a straightforward hierarchy. This is the reason why the relation is called a partial order relation. We can only partially order the elements. If, on the other hand, any two elements, X and Y, in a partially ordered set, A, are comparable, then we say that the relation is a total order relation.